everyone, my name is Bokis. You're welcome to a new tutorial. If you are new, you're welcome. Make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss out on any of our tutorial anymore. You will see a tiny bell. It is for notification. Just tap on it. You get notification each time you put up a video. So before we get started, today we'll be making a very nice dress. For the tools, we have them available. The, uh, this is the pattern master. We have the one meter ruler in wooding. We also have the hip shorter one, this is 24 inches in plastic. And then we have the hip core and the pan core also in plastic. In case you are interested, this is the hammer core. You see me use that all the time. Now, before we go to the dress, I want to tell you about our online classes. They are loaded, and when I say they are loaded, they are loaded, and you get a chance to communicate with me to ask questions. If you are confused in any part, we check on your assignment if they are okay and all that. And trust me, it is a wonderful experience if you have done it before. And then if you are interested, you want to join us or you want to join any of the classes because we have it from the beginner's class to advanced module one or module two, advanced module three is loading. <laughs> so if you are interested, I'll put the contact number in the description box below. Just check on it and then contact us for the online class. Now, going back to the dress. I already draft what I had here, but before then I'll be making use of this leftover fabric I have, and it's beautiful, I think. So I'll just use this, this is satin to spice it up. So now let me move the camera closer, then we'll go to the measurement. This is what the dress will look like, can you see it? It has an elastic at the waist area, and then we have some ruffles here and some fake, and just a fake bottom placket. So it's going to be very beautiful. I'm making it for a age of eight years. So what are the measurements I really need here? The shoulder measurements of the girl, which is 12 inches. Chest circumference, which is 27 inches. Length of the dress itself, the total length of this dress will be 28 inches. Half of the hand mold measurement I'll use is six inches. Another essential measurement you need is the vertical waist measurement. What I meant about that, about that is, from the nape of the neck down to where you want the elastic to be. So that would be 10 and a half or 11 is quite fine. Now with these measurements, let's go over to cut the outfit. Now I have the fabric folded. So this is just for one part. Then I'll use this to cut the other panel. The length of this dress is actually 28 inches. But I added extra one and a half to it, which will make it 29 and a half, which is what I have here. So the first thing now is this. Let me insert half of the shoulder measurement, which is that's from here six. This is six inches. Half of measurement. So from there, I'll just come down by half an inch. Then from here now, I'm going to measure six inches. That's six inches for the ham hole. Next thing now is to insert half of the chest, uh, sorry, quarter of the chest circumference. It is actually 27. So when I divide that by four, I'll have six and three quarter inches. So six and three quarter inches on my measuring tape is here. Can you see that? But I'm just going to add his because it will have an elastic in the waist area. So I want an his so that it will still have some spaces around. So instead of that six and three quarter, I'll just make it seven and half. So seven and half is here. Remember, we need side seam allowance to join it together. So I can just add extra half an inch or one inch. To be on the saver side, you can add one inch to that, but I'll just add extra half an inch. Now that's what I have. This hand hole will be for the back. So this is the back hand hole. 
then from the front i'll just get the midpoint this is three inches and i'll just come in by half an inch which is here So that's for the front hand hole, that's the back hand hole. So now I'll just take the measurement I have here, which is now eight inches. I'll take it to the lower part here, which is here. Because it's like an hairline gown, I'll now add extra, I can add like extra four, three to four is okay. Adding extra four inches to it now will be here. Then I can connect from the chest here for the length to the waist of the from the length from the nape of the neck to the waist here is 10 and a half inches but I will just make it 11 so from here now down here this is 11 but well, remember, you, we will have to take the upper part, so we have to add that extra half an inch to it to make it 11 or 12. So it's here. So we'll be able to know where to insert it when joining. 11 and a half. So this is what I have. That is where it will be. Now let's go to the neckline. The neck depth, I'll make it three inches. So three inches is for the neck width. That will be two and a half. Two and a half by three. Then for the, because I'm going to draft for the back here, I will then use it to cut out for the back before the front. So now for the front depth, it is three inches. Then the width remains the same for both the front and the back, which is two and a half. Now for the back, I'll make the back two inches. That's for the back, then for the front. And this is for the front. Can you see that? Then I'm just going to connect from this point to the half an inch. cut it out when cutting the back first back neckline first Now I'm going to fold another one four by one inch here because I don't want it to be sharp. One inch. You can see that. Then I'm just going to puff it down here. So I'm going to make another fold and place on this on it to cut out for the back. I've placed the front panel on the folded fabric again and I can cut it out So we'll finish up the front panel. I've cut that out. This will now be for the back. Let's finish up the front. Now I've cut that off. This will be for the front. And this is the front. And then the back panel. This is what the back looks like. 
So before we cut out the placket, I will have to cut out facing for it. So I'll just fold some fabric to cut it out. I have some fabric folded now for the facing because I want to turn it with the ham hole too. So what I will do now is this. So I want it to stop somewhere around here. It's fine. Make sure the folded part aligns with the one underneath it. And then I'm going to cut it out. I've cut out both facing. Can you see that? And also for this. Now let's go to the placket. For the placket now, let me just open it. This is the wrong side. So on the right side, this is what it looks like. So with the crease, I know where the midpoint is. So I want it to be around four and a half. Four and a half. So here I have this is like six and a half. I have six and a half here, but I actually want it to be four and a half or five. But I made it longer. Why? Because I will need to fold this lower part. And then when I want to run the upper part, some of it would go in with the seam allowance. So now let me measure what I have. Six and a half inches. And then in width, I want it to be one inch. And you see, so here I have about one it's not even one all up to one and quarter so one inch is okay this is what i have so what i did was that i cut out a width of two inches can you see two inches by six and half then i fold in half an inch on this side with my pressing iron half an inch on this side then i'm going to fold this in when i'm sewing so it will be easier so i want to have something like this can you see that that is what I want to achieve. Now, since we are done with this, let's just put that aside. Then here I have a satin fabric. What I have, this is going to be by the side here, and it's going to be pleated, maybe an inverted pleat. You could have gathered ruffles, it depends on you. It will be unfolded this way, and then it will be pleated. Inverted pleat, box pleat, you could have any one. So this is then this will be sewn on top of it. This is what I want to achieve. Can you see that? Then I want this to be two and a half inches. I have a length of 29 inches here. Then the width, seven inches. By the time I fold over, I'll have three and a half. Can you see that? Then half an inch is going to go into the seam along with the placket. Then I'll have extra three. What I'll do now is this. I've folded it this way. I'll just take to my sewing machine. I'll have to trim this off. Selvage. I'll take to my sewing machine. I'll take to the sewing machine now. Then sew. This is on the wrong side. I'm just going to sew half an inch here. Half an inch here. Then bring it out on the right side after bringing it out i can just run a straight stitch here i'll do that to the other one i haven't done it this is what i have can you see the head is well finished then i close this part to make it easier to pleat the next thing i'll do now is to pleat how do you pleat it depends you can have a box pleat an inverted pleat assuming you want it to be a gathered ruffle you just run a basin stitch that is the largest stitch on your sewing machine than you just pull it to gather it to five inches or four and a half. So what I'll do now is to pleat it invertedly. Can you see that? And I'm going to pin it down. So I'm going to pleat till I have four and a half to five inches. Can you see that? So you just adjust it to have that. Can you see? Then I'll just run a stitch over it to make it easier to sew down to this. In case you, you have excess, all you have to do is to cut this off, lose this a little bit, turn it to the wrong side, sew it up, then turn it again. So it's easy, but this I'll just split it to have the exact four, four and a half to five inches. Looking at it, I've pleated it, this is what I have. 
I later cut out five inches from each part. Can you see that? So that left me about 25. Here now I have almost five and a half, like five and a quarter. Now let's go back to these parts. Can you see this? So with this crease, I know this is the center point. One will be here, one will be here. So just take your time to do this. Make sure they are one, um, like half an inch away from the midpoint. Then this will be folded. Can you see that? So I'm just going to put this here, fold this over, put this here, fold it over. Can you see that? Just make sure you pin it down. I still need to move it down. Okay. I haven't done that. Make sure all this goes in. So that's why you have to pin it down. Then you should have some spaces at the other part because we'll run the facing half an inch. So it will be exactly here. Can you see how it looks? Isn't this beautiful? So I'll take to the sewing machine now and just run it's still close to the fold. All through here. Yeah here now i fix the placket can you see that so on the wrong side this is what it looks like so i'll just trim off this excess so that it will match the the neckline now this is what i have the remaining half will be for the seam allowance what do i do now i'm going to get the back panel so that would be wrong side facing each other. Sorry, that would be right side facing each other. This is our right side. So what I will do now at the shoulder, I will just take in quarter inch or half an inch. Yeah. Then for the facing, I'm going to do that to the main fabric. Then for the facing. I'm going to make sure the right side are facing each other too. Then I'm going to take the same amount. If take, uh, you take quarter inch here, it has to be quarter inch here. If it is half inch, half an inch. So I'll do that and come back to show you. I've taken it in at the shoulder. I took half an inch on both sides. For quarter inch would have been better. Then what I'll do now is to open it up, right side facing each, each other. And then I'll finish the neckline. Can you see that now? Make sure you pin it down. Then I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and take half an inch all through. Now I'll finish the neckline. Then I put it inward. And then give it a good press. So the next thing now is to finish the arm old area what do i do i'll just open it up like this and you see that then put all this inward and you see then i'm going to take half an inch all through can you see that i'm going to take half an inch after that then i'll pull it out now i've sewn it then i'll now have to pull it out from in the everything You see what I have on this side. So I have the neat armhole area. Then I'll do the same thing for this side. I'll roll it back. And you see, and I'm going to sew it same way. Now after doing that, can you see how neat the armhole looks like? I would have loved this dress as an A-line dress. You can see it's so beautiful. So if you are making yours, you can also make it an a-line dress which is so so beautiful but since i will i've already decided to do an elastic dress i'll just go on with that so now on the wrong side we've marked where we want the elastic to be so i just cut out eight inches elastic two of that okay sorry this is like eight and a half two of that so what i'll do now is to turn to the wrong side then can you see i'm just going to pin this down pin this down then sew along with it so I'll start sewing, then I'll keep pulling along with it. I'll do that for one side, then I'll do this to the other side and show you. 
Now this is the result after fixing the elastic. You can see it's looking so beautiful already. Can you see that? You can run it twice. It will be beautiful. I can decide to do that, but let's just forget about that now. Then I'm going to turn to the wrong side. I can either finish the lower part separately or when I finish, I can do that. Then all I have to do is this. I can open up this facing then sew half an inch all down, then you fold it later. Or better still, just fold it in. Can you see that? Then sew the half inch here, half inch here, then finish the lower part. Can you see that? Isn't this beautiful? Oh my God. Can you see that? So this is like a video of, that is two in one video for the A-line and also for this elastic waist dress. So you can make either of the two for your kids. Make sure when you make yours, you share with us on our Facebook group, Sewing Innovation. Tag me on Instagram, the key signatures. I love you so much. In case you are interested in the tools, the online classes, I'll put the contact number in the description box below. Make sure you subscribe, please, please subscribe. Share the link, tell your friends about it. Bye, make sure you make this, okay?